Welcome to Delphi Labs. My name is Paweł Kowalski and today in our data snap Delphi Labs episode I'm going to discuss different application types that you can build with data snap. In fact, I'm not going to do, to go in depth in this uh, broad discussion because you can build data snap servers in Delphi and C++ builder. You can use Delphi, C++ builder, RAT PHP, Delphi Prism and JavaScript to build Delphi to build data snap clients and you can use TCP IP and HTTP as communication protocols between clients and servers so this there is quite a lot of combinations and I want to for this episode just to focus on one specific uh, demo and quite exotic type of a data snap server that is going to be implemented as a standard Windows service application so in depth uh, discussion of data snap server application types can be found uh, in this data snap server application types uh, session that was uh, recorded by Jim Tierney from Embarcadero. Uh, so this is also available uh, for playback at channel E from Embarcadero. So if you want to have more theoretic and broader knowledge about different server application types, I recommend this session. So for this uh, episode, I'm going to switch to Delphi. And I'm going uh, to build a, a new data snap uh, Delphi uh, server application that I'm going to implement not as a VCL forms application and not as a console application, but as a service application. So this is not a web service, but this is an operating system win Windows uh, service application that can be uh, installed like any other service. So I'm going to go next and keep the default TCP IP, so my communication protocol, keep uh, sample values, uh, sample methods to be generated by the wizard. And I'm also going to see if the port 211 is open. Okay, I'm going to keep T component as my base class for uh, server methods implementation and go for OK. So the wizard has uh, generated for me a slightly uh, different uh, non standard uh, application. So notice that. I do not have uh, any uh, main form because this is a service application. So uh, I have just in my project uh, server methods unit 2. So this is uh, where my functionality uh, of my data snap server uh, is implemented. I can actually change something, maybe echoing from Windows service and value. So I have something uh, more. Uh, specific to this particular application and I'm going to save everything uh, in the special directory I created DS win service. So server methods unit 2 is fine I'm going to keep the server container unit 2 uh, as well and I'm going to call uh, this uh, application uh, DS windows service. Maybe let's keep it smaller DS win as faults uh, up because I'm going to need this name uh, later. Okay, so that's my uh, that's my service. So that's the functionality that it offers. So echo string and a reverse string. Let's go to the server container unit. So server container unit uh, contains uh, components typical for a data snap server application. But what is non-standard? Let me switch to the default layout. Is the fact that the server container is derived directly from a T service class. So this is uh, this is going to be our service. So I can actually change the server container to uh, to something more specific, like for example, data snap service. So that's going to be my uh, name. I can actually change the name my my data maybe also data snap service. So it's consistent, maybe with a s simple space in between. Okay, so these are the different uh, properties uh, of a service. So the service uh, itself uh, is derived from a T data module uh, and defined in the SVC MGR uh, unit. So this is uh, all the functionality that uh, this uh, service uh, is inheriting from the base class. Okay, so basically the only thing I need to do right now is to compile my application or build it. So I can just right click and have it built. And also I need to go to the command prompt 
and install this service so it's visible in Windows. So I'm going to, to do a little trick. I select the name of the executable in the uh, project manager and in the object inspector I can actually copy the path to this particular project so it's easier for me to navigate. Okay, now I need to actually go for the uh, command uh, prompt and what is important I need to run it uh, as administrator because I will need some extra privileges to uh, install things. So I'm going to actually jump uh, into my uh, project directory and also there is a debug uh, slash win32 subdirectory when my executable is stored. So I need to actually go ahead and enter this as my directory of choice and here I see dswin svc app exe so this is my uh, service so I need to install it so dswin svc app dot exe and sl uh, slash install so in this way I will be able to actually install it so notice Windows firewall uh, is giving me a message that my application starts to listen on certain port which is uh, of course I want to have it and I got an information that service uh, was installed successfully okay so what I can do right now I won't see the user interface but what I can do is I can actually see this application uh, in the uh, task manager uh, so I should be able to actually uh, find my data snap service application here it is so notice that it's now stopped but I can actually go ahead and start to uh, uh, to start it let me also see if I can see this uh, application so I won't be able to do it from here maybe I will be able to do it from here so I should see my application here as well data snap service and I'm going to start it from here so hopefully it's going to uh, be started. Okay, so now I see that I have a stop, pause and restart so uh, my service uh, should be uh, running. So if I would reboot my machine this service would be started automatically so I don't have to do this step because that's uh, the fact that I have just uh, implemented it a moment ago. So just to see that it's actually working I can use Data Explorer and I have my test TCP 211 so any data snap uh, server uh, that is uh, installed locally and is TCP IP and listen on port 211 can be tested here so I can test connection and I can even actually go ahead and open my procedures and somewhere here I should see my echo method that I have just uh, implemented so let me actually view the parameters and I should be able to call it so Delphi and I can call it echoing from Windows Service Delphi. Okay, so that's it. The big benefit of implementing uh, data snap uh, services as Windows services is the fact that they are started automatically on uh, operating system startup. So for example, if I deploy uh, this uh, Windows service uh, to a machine that is run in cloud infrastructure like uh, Amazon EC2 Cloud, I can have my load balancer uh, have have it to start my machines on demand and stop it on demand and I don't want to interact with the machine directly logging into the remote uh, desktop and start or stop uh, individual servers so that's a, a big benefit thank you very much for watching this episode of Delphi Labs data snap uh, series